hello. Welcome to my world. And I'm going to gear this lesson as if I were teaching um, a first grade class. Do you know why we have all the types of music that we do? Sometimes there's a lot of hidden meanings behind it and we don't always see it just like it is. So today I would talk, like to talk to you about a certain type of music called Negro spirituals and they are folk songs and they're songs that we passed on by our talking, by orally. Instead of something that we would write down and look at it and have notes, we would pass it on by speaking to each other. And that's how some songs got passed on from generation to generation to generation. And if we go back many years ago, when our forefathers were establishing the new world that we know it as America, several people came from the continent of Africa. And these were black folks. And they came here and they went through some really hard times. In fact, um, they sang songs about some of the hard times that they went through. They worked on plantations as slaves. And many times when people would hear them sing, their owners would not allow them to gather into groups many times. And so at night when they's all done from a long day of hard work, they would go off to the forest somewhere and just have a private meeting. And they would sing songs. And some of their songs, all their songs, or most of them, sounded like they were talking about religious things. But sometimes these songs had hidden meaning. And the song we're going to go over today, the title of it is Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen. Now, it's talking about nobody knows the trouble I've seen but Jesus. And they could have been just talking about things that all of us face in our life when we might feel bad or be sick, but they were talking even more about the hardships that they went through as slaves on those plantations. And so they created songs sometimes to give hidden meaning. And there was one particular song they would sing and it um, referred to flying away. And when they would gather at night and they would sing that song about flying away, there was a hidden message in it because they knew one of those slaves that night was going to escape all the way, try to get away up into the north to their freedom. So I want you to remember that songs many times are written with hidden meanings, just like if your mom gets you one of those books, um, and it has all those little character in it, characters in it, and it says, okay, I want you to find this particular word that's hidden in there. And that's the way it was with their songs. Sometimes they had hidden meanings that nobody really knew what they meant except the black people. And so let's talk about this particular song. I'm going to sing it to you once, and then we're going to talk about some of the specific rhythms they've got in it that was very peculiar to Negro spirituals and um, to black people. They like things with rhythm. They don't like just boring things, just straight notes like bum, 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 bum. They like things that they could clap to or they could dance to and move to. So let's do this song that they would have created. And it's called Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen. So I'm going to play that for you. Sometimes I'm so 
So the first principle we've learned is how it had hidden meaning. The second principle we're going to talk about is how they had their music syncopated. And I've written a little sheet and I'm just kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, so if something is syncopated, many times it'll have this kind of note and then it'll have this kind of note and then it will have this kind of note. And so if I were going to clap that out, just like this song has those intervals in it a lot, it goes that specific rhythm, excuse me. It would be synco pa. Let's do that together. Synco pa. So synco pa. So if we would go to this song and we look at this song, nobody. Okay, we have it there. Jesus, nobody. Okay, so there are several places that it's all throughout our song that we have that type of syncopation. So let's clap to that again. Synco pa. Another time. Synco pa. All right, so I'm going to sing it one more time, but we're going to add one more thing to our. <clears throat> lesson today. The blacks, when they sang, sometimes they could sing a very happy, jubilant song, but many times it was full of melancholy. And you say, what is melancholy? It would be kind of slow. It would be kind of um, sad because they struggled with the hardships they faced in life. So that would be something that we would talk about expression and dynamics, and dynamics is how loud, how soft we do a song, but expression would be sadness and, and with melancholy, okay? So this time, I want you to pay attention to synco pa, and I want you to pay attention to how sad and slow it is in places. One more time. specific purposes like the black slaves did on the plantations. Secondly, many times these um, folk songs, um, Negro spirituals, had syncopation in them like we talked about. Cinco pa. And lastly, there was a lot of expression in their songs and they would do them slow and full of melancholy. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Thank you very much.